trying to be a good best friend, Kylie Jenner decided to throw a party for model Anastasia Kara Nicolaou, who was turning 22. It's not a secret that the whole family loves luxurious parties, but this time Kylie just crossed the line. The internet exploded with a major backlash as she should have thought twice before choosing the theme of this party. It's your boy Marky Mark here and today I'm going to show you why I think Kylie Jenner is just a mistake of nature. The question about the level of Kylie Jenner's intelligence arose after she shared pictures from the theme party. If you're thinking of Hawaiian outfits or something, you are definitely wrong. The best thing Kylie could think of was the super sensitive topic of the fight for women's rights. I'll give you a hint. The white bonnet cap, the long red dresses, that's right. Kylie and her friends held a party in the style of the popular series The Handmaid's Tale. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll introduce you real quick. The Handmaid's Tale is based upon dystopia, something that is possible but none of us would like to happen. The female protagonists had all their rights taken away from family, education, career, to the right to choose their outfit and hairstyle because as maids they have to obey men. It gets so extreme that within this fictitious society, when an elite couple cannot have children, a government agency sends a maid to them and her sole duty is to get pregnant with the man of the house and deliver the baby, and not to mention constant abuse. The plot is quite complex and even includes some interpretations of the Bible that gives me goosebumps to be honest. But no more spoilers, I recommend that you experience all of these emotions on your own. It's worth watching if you've been living under a rock all this time and haven't seen it yet. Now back to Kylie and the party. I guess by now you already can guess why seemingly innocent outfits of the women of Gilead has angered not only feminists but people who at least have some common sense. The theme party was full on. Event managers took care of everything to make it look like the setting of The Handmaid's Tale. It was so real to the point that men had to be called commanders. Even the staff that works for Kylie had to be dressed for the party as Marthas, who in the series are coincidentally domestic helpers. Her entire mansion was turned into the Republic of Gilead. Even the drinks were served as under his eyes tequila and praise be vodka. Wow, such a spectacular sense of humor, Kylie. How on earth The Handmaid's Tale can be compatible with Jenner's life? A young, sexy, multi-millionaire businesswoman, and she is the one who in the past called herself a feminist. Uh, she doesn't seem to understand the concept at all. To make that party even crazier, none other than Sophia Ritchie was one of the guests. Yeah, the girlfriend of Scott Disick. The one from the picture that caused such a huge scandal in the Kardashian family, as you probably know from the episodes of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. It seems like the family accepted her after all. Or am I wrong? Of course, the feedback on social media was immediate after little Kylie's party and the comments ranged from this is so wrong to the questions who's going to tell her that her party is literally celebrating female enslavement. There were also very few trying to defend her saying that it's only a series not real life. Hmm, quite a weak defense I must say. Mainly Kylie's profiles are full of positive comments under the post, but this wasn't the case. She had to be reminded that the costumes from the show have been used in serious political demonstrations and that making a party using its elements would ridicule the efforts of millions of women who fight for their rights. Jenner definitely crossed the line this time, quite irresponsible for her. What do you think about Kylie Jenner's handmaid's party? Do you think it was too much? Do you think she should finally face the consequences of her actions and think twice next time? Let's talk about it in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to become part of our Curious Sips family. See ya!